Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is the Desk Lab. It's a 4K ultralight portable touchscreen monitor. It's a 15.6 inch IPS monitor that you can connect to a whole host of devices, your laptop, your phone, tablets, your gaming consoles, whatever it may be, a whole bunch of use cases. I'm gonna cover a whole bunch of scenarios with this. So take a look at the categories on the sidebar here. This video might be a little bit long, so if you wanted to skip to any particular category, you can do that with the chapters down below or along the timeline down here. So let's go ahead, open this up and showcase what this thing can do. So there's a few items that come with this in the box. You get the desk lab monitor, you get a HDMI to HDMI cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and a user manual. Now let's move on to the ports. On the left hand side, you have a headphone jack there that you can use for your headphones or for external speakers. You also have two USB-C ports, both which can be displayed as the power source to the monitor and to reverse charge other devices. And then you also have a full-sized HDMI port as well. On the right hand side, you have three buttons. The middle one is the power button, the top and the lower ones are the plus and minus buttons for the volume and also to scroll through the menu. Then you also have a USB-A traditional port as well to charge devices. Now this monitor is so lightweight, it's only 725 grams and it's ultra thin. It's just under six millimeters. I don't know if you guys can see that, look how thin that is. In comparison, I have this pen. It's roughly around the same height of this pen. If I take a look here. I think this pen is slightly taller. That's how thin this is. So it's very easy to take with you. You can just chuck it in your backpack and it comes with this very nice case here. This case does cost an additional $50 to the price of the Desk Lab monitor, which is $399. Now the purchase links are from the Desk Lab website, which I've got linked in the description below. But you can actually see it just snaps on very easily through magnetics. Now the magnetic case allows you to use this in various different viewing angles. So all you have to do is flip it around, tilt it, so you angle it like that. And then you can use this in pretty much any type of angle you want. So as you can see, the flat backwards are moving it downwards to pretty much any angle that make it easier to read or see the screen. So it's pretty much unlimited possibilities and you can also have it flat on the desk as well. So it's very convenient, plenty of options. Now let's take a look at some use cases for this. Right, so I'm connecting this with my MacBook Pro and I'm using the USB-C to USB-C cable to both display and power the monitor itself. Now there's a few options that you can use. By default, I'm using this to extend my screen so you can use two independent screens to do your day-to-day -day work. But you can also mirror the screen as well. So in case you want to do presentations and you want to show other people of whatever you have on the screen, then you can use that and turn it around and show different people. Then if you're someone like a coder and you'd rather have a very vertical screen, then you can flip it 90 degrees sideways and then use that to display maybe some code or whatever it may be to help you utilize more screen real estate. Other use cases for this monitor, you can connect it to your iPad like I've done here and the response rate is pretty much identical. I'm cycling through the screens and the different apps and it mirrors it perfectly. So that's another use case you can have. And if you have a smartphone that's compatible to display that screen on a different monitor, then you can connect your smartphone and extend that and work off of this massive screen. You can mirror your smartphone or extend that as well. And you can also use this for gaming. So if you wanted to connect your PlayStation, your Xbox, your Nintendo Switch, you have the HDMI port there, connect your game console, and this will be perfect for gaming. Turn it on to game mode and you'll get the perfect colors, the resolution, the refresh rates. It'll be awesome for that. Now this is a crystal clear liquid display and you can set the color temperature from 9300K, which is the coolest, down to any custom user preset. It does have 400 nits of brightness. So if you was to use this outdoors for any reason, then you'd still be able to see the screen quite clearly. It does have 1200 to one contrast ratio and 16.7 million colors. So it's perfect for graphic designers. If you are using things like Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop, then you'll really get the true colors coming out onto the screen to match whatever graphic designs you are making. It's also a flicker free anti glare and low blue light screen to prevent eye strain or even migraines from looking at the screen all day. And you can actually change the aspect ratio of the monitor itself from 16 by nine to four by three to five by four and also a square ratio of one by one. Now, when you're looking at different colors or images and you are maybe like a graphic designer or a website designer, then this does actually display very nice colors. I know the screen that you're looking at might not show real justice for it, 
but believe me it's very clear it's just like natively you're using it on your actual laptop so i have a retina display macbook pro and it pretty much matches like for like on both screens in terms of the color density that's coming out and not just the brightness of the colors but even the darker colors so it actually shows you the deepest blacks and very dark colors in your designs or whatever it may be it's absolutely exactly how you expect it to be now you can also change the different settings in the menu to make the screen brighter or show different types of modes of the actual screen resolution and to make the image more vivid so let me go ahead and show you a little bit more about the settings Okay guys, so let's run through the settings which appears on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So the first one is picture settings. If in here you can basically change the brightness, the contrast, the eco, DCR, sharpness. So if I go to the eco settings there, you can change this to different types of modes. So if I cycle through maybe game, movie, photo and vivid. So whichever one you want to do, then you can do that. But there's also an option for user preset as well. And if you turn DCR on, which is dynamic contrast ratio, then this will give you the ability to make dark scenes even darker by adjusting the intensity of the backlight on the monitor. So I'm going to leave that on for now. Then you can put the sharpness up as well to maximum four. Now this is the color settings. You can change the color temperature from here. So for example, 9300 kelvins up to a user custom preset you can also change the level of hue saturation low blue light and free sync as well if you turn free sync on this would allow you to synchronize the refresh rate of your graphics card onto the desk lab monitor you then have audio settings other settings in, which include the language hdr modes and to reset the monitor and finally you can change the input source from here and finally, this is a touchscreen monitor, but you need to have a touchscreen capable device to extend this onto the desk lab monitor. So I use a MacBook Pro and because MacBooks are not touchscreen, I can't use the touchscreen capabilities on this. But if you have a Windows laptop or even if you have an Apple iPad Pro, then you will be able to extend that touchscreen capability on this. But even if you do, it's 20 milliseconds of response time, which is perfect. It's super fast. And it's not just a single finger touchscreen, it's a multi-finger touchscreen as well. And it has up to 10 points of touch that can allow you to do different things. Most of the time, you're only gonna use a single finger or double fingers to maybe zoom in and out. Just like you do with your phone, it's perfect for that. Final thing I wanted to show, if you're going to use this for, let's say, watching movies. So let's take a look at an example. So in terms of that video quality, it's crystal clear. It's just like my Retina display on my MacBook Pro. It's pretty much identical, to be honest. And the colors were so vibrant. Even if I changed the colors to the different modes, maybe vivid or movie mode, they will stand out a lot more because I was watching that on standard. So that's about it, guys. Now, this is a very good purchase. $399. Of course, it's not the cheapest buy. But for what you get, it's super light, it's super thin. It's pretty much lighter and easier to carry with you than your actual laptop but it wouldn't take up any more additional space if you have a carry case for your laptop this can probably slot in just about in there with the laptop as well backpack very easy to put in there and all you need is this all you need is the usb-c cable connect that take that with you have your laptop and then you have a two monitor screen set up wherever you go very happy links are down below on where you can check this out if you'd like to purchase it if there's any discount codes you can also get that from the link down below as well otherwise if there's any questions by all means drop a comment otherwise i hope you subscribe i've got tons more cool gadget videos coming out just like this and i will catch you guys at the next one take care